goat's milk tea. How are you? Thank you very much, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Delicious. And what have you? Look at that. Look. And they've done such a brilliant job here. How's the jacuzzi? So nice. It's not too shabby, is it? Probably one of the most famous hotels in the world, I think, like Ribena. There are loads of cellar tape on the menu. Looking good. Shabby chic, isn't it? Very thin line between uh, shabby chic and shabby shit. How far is your kite? I don't know. It's way up there, man. What's your name? Uh, my name is Simon. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. So the best thing about uh, any shopping mall is leaving. Me and Axum out and about again in the talk. We've got quite a few bits to do. We've got to pick up a bit of shopping. Of course, we've got to eat some lovely food. Uh, the rain is in and out. It's hot, it's sticky, it's lovely. Hello, how you doing everyone? Simon here. Now look, uh, in Colombo, what we're gonna be doing today in this video is I'm gonna take you to two hotels. One absolutely fantastic, one not so much. I'm gonna be out bobbing around in the tuk-tuk, you know, buying some fish, some groceries and stuff like that, and just general life here in Colombo. We've been here about four or five months now, living here full time. We're absolutely loving it. We love the country, and of course, we love the food and the people. Let's get on with this one. All right, how's it going everyone? So look, we're out and about. Listen, the first thing I want to do today in this video, I've been asked this loads of times, it's going to do a bit of a kind of food comparison. People have been asking me, you know, how much kind of things cost. So I'm just going to buy a few basics, like, you know, eggs, milks and things like that, uh, just to show you. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be pretty much cheaper here than most countries, well, wherever you are, but you can let me know that. Let me just get by this took here, how much sec. So yeah, just going to grab a few, you know, just a few basics from, from a store. Now we've uh, basically got like three or four kind of stores here. Kills, Cargill's or Food City, uh, Aprico, and there's a bit of a spa every now and then. We don't really have big kind of supermarkets here, like massive, you know, mega marts, you know, like, like we do in Europe and stuff like that. They're all kind of fairly, fairly small, I'd say, quite kind of mid-sized kind of stores, but there's a lot of them everywhere. But anyway, let me do that, get it out of the way, and then we're gonna go out and we're gonna eat and do some other stuff. See you in a bit. Okay, look, back from the shops. I uh, just picked up a few basics. Well, I picked up quite a lot, but look, uh, eggs, here we go. 10 eggs, extra large size, 670 rupees. I've got it all down here, which is currently $2.21 or £1.70. Okay, let's move on, milk. I've just got a litre of milk here. So this cost me 550 rupees, which is one pound 30 and 1.81 dollars. All right, so a regular sliced white bread. That cost me 280 rupees. That is 92 cents or 71 pence. Uh, water. This is a branded, a branded type, uh, 1.5 liters. This cost me 160 rupees, which is 53 cents or 40 pence. And got this much bigger one. This is a kind of local, unbranded kind of thing. Uh, five liters, uh, 440 rupees, which is one dollar 45 or one pound 12. Okay, Coca-Cola, regular size bottle of Coca-Cola, um, 400 ml, I think that is 400 ml kind of one. That cost me 170 rupees, which is 56 cents or 43 pence. Now, I also bought some chicken. I'm not going to show you that. I bought a uh, 1 kg or 2.2 pound of chicken. That was 1,000 rupees. 1,000 rupees is $3.3 or £2.54. Now, this is the amount of shopping that I got. You know, I've kind of got a big old trolley of shopping, different stuff, just kind of regular stuff that we need for the week and that. That cost me, in total, 17,300, which is about $57 or about 44 quid. So, please do let me know in the comments down below uh, how that compares to where you are in the world. It's gonna be cheaper in most cases, I think. But you have to remember that the average salary in Sri Lanka 
is quite low so the shop that I went to might be really expensive for you know for most people you know I don't know um, you can get a lot of these things cheaper if you kind of go out and about and if you keep really local keeping local stuff like for example um, if I buy a papaya a big papaya like this it costs me you know 200 300 rupees it's locally grown there's loads of them it's brilliant I mean that's gonna cost you I don't know what's gonna cost you it might cost you 10 15 20 dollars or something or six quid eight quid ten quid i don't know wherever you are but so if you kind of keep it local um which most people obviously do that then i think you can get by but um yeah for us i.e foreigners over here with whatever you're coming with pounds dollars or whatever i think you're going to find it quite cheap comparatively let me know so look i have no idea what the prices are like in the uk i've not lived in the uk for many years um, no idea what the prices are in the united states of america or europe no idea um, I've been living in um, Bahrain in the GCC in the Gulf Arab Gulf Middle East for many years a trolley of shopping over there my kind of regular stuff would be between 80 and 100 dinars a week that would be that um, that is about so 80, 80 dinars is about 160 170 quid you know something like that so so it is remarkably cheaper here for me with my foreign currency you have to remember that if you're going to start buying marmite and sort of you know do you know what i mean kind of imported stuff you're going to you're going to pay for it for sure but that applies all over the world doesn't it so we just looked at some basics please do let me know what you think and compare prices for me please Okay, so right now we're in the Colombo 6 area. I'm just gonna pop down and get myself a bit of lunch, a little kind of late breakfast lunch kind of thing. Uh, vegetarian style, there's tons and tons of these places all over the shop. So yeah, a bit of a masala dosa, a few little curries and things like that. That's a regular thing for me. And it's also very, very cheap indeed. So you can see that it kind of all turns up in buckets. You sort of just help yourself as much as you like. Bloody tasty. Beautiful looking dosa. Really lovely, masala dosa. My favorite thing in the whole world. Alright, finished that, really, really delicious. So we had a wada, which I didn't show you. An idli set, a masala dosa, a bottle of water, big bottle of water, and we've got a couple of teas. This is goat's milk tea, so uh, it's really nice. Total, 1,375, bugger all. How are you? I've got uh, some short. Bonda? Yes. Wada? Wadi? Alright, so the next stop for me today is I'm going to go down to my local fishmongers and pick up some beautiful fresh fish. Now, it is really beautifully fresh and it's delightful. 
but I'm surprised that it's not that cheap considering it's a whole island, you know, surrounded by water, fish everywhere. Fish is not particularly very cheap, or maybe not as cheap as you might think it is. Nice. Huh? Very nice. Thank you very much guys. Thank, thank you. 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 Thank you, bud. Thank you, bud. Okay, so I often uh, like to stay in a hotel in Colombo just to kind of give you a bit of a guide and some kind of points. We're staying today at the Marino in Colombo 4. Really fabulous, actually really surprised me. Beautiful size rooms, all the facilities that you want, fantastic roof, terrace kind of garden, which I'll talk about in a bit. Just really, really brilliant service, great Wi-Fi, everything fabulous about this place. Really, really like this one. So look, we're at uh, the Marina Hotel, but we're actually in the Marina Mall, which is connected to the, the hotel. It's kind of food court just there. Um, we've just ordered some, um, there's some Middle Eastern food, there's some curry we've ordered. So we've ordered some shawarma, which is a good one. We're saying it's actually good. Uh, we've got a little bit of kapsa, like rice with some chicken, which I haven't tasted yet, I'm gonna get in there. And I've ordered some dal or butter chicken, uh, some naan bread, and a few bits and pieces like that. But yeah, really nice, and it's quite a nice little view. Look, have a look at that view. We're just sort of, you know, right there. So, Colombo 4, Marine Drive, railway track, then the sea. Beautiful. Bit of a shawarma on the go. That's no, not bad. Well, that's quite nice. Bit of a um, mojito. Virgin one, of course. And I got myself a uh, mango lassi. That's working. Got a few little um, Punjabi samosas. They look very nice. Delicious. Nice spicy potato. Happy boy. Okay, a little bit of uh, shish tauk has arrived. Tasty, but a bit tough, I think. All right, so I've got a nice looking butter chicken turned up. A nice little damalu. It's a nice kind of potato curry. It's a beautiful looking naan here and a uh, beautiful dal. This place is bloody good here, yeah? nice little kind of, well considering it's a kind of, you know, a food court, really nice. Well, that's a delicious um, dal, really good. Damalu, delicious. Okay, so look, we've got a lot of food there. There's four of us here, by the way. Um, so we've got a butter chicken, uh, damalu, potato curry, a dal, four naans, which is two portions of naan. The Punjabi samosa, there was three of them. Then we got the chicken shawarma. Then we got the kabsa, the rice with chicken. And then we got the shish dawg. And we've had loads of drinks and everything. It was about 
in total 11,000. It's really not a lot of money at all for a great deal of food. And it was delicious. And what a view, look at that, look. So they just bought me the, the bill back um, with a thousand rupees change. And I sort of said, that's not my change. They said, no, it's our sixth anniversary or something. So you get discount, so 10,000. Well, good morning. It's uh, about seven o'clock in the morning or something. So we're sitting outside again. We're on the second floor now, having a bit of breakfast. So uh, got myself some uh, whole roti, little tiny wada or vada, and an idli. And then I've got some nice fish curry. That looks really nice. And some black chicken curry. So I'm going to be dipping into that. Axum's got himself a whole plate of sausages and some fresh tuna. Looks good. So we're going to tuck into that. Also got myself the classic egg hopper. Okay, so breakfast was absolutely fabulous. Look, now, if you're like me, uh, most people aren't actually. I'm really happy to eat a nice curry in the morning. So I had a fish curry, chicken curry, the vada, you know, the, they're just all, everything they're curry wise, you want it, they've got it, they've got dosa there, they've got naan and everything. Axon went for more traditional sort of thing, he had loads of sausages, uh, they've got pork beef and uh, chicken, uh, bacon and stuff like that. And then uh, they've got your omelettes and everything like that, your regular stuff, salads, croissants and blah 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 blah. Yeah, but I like a nice old curry, don't I? But yeah, a nice big old buffet. So we're on the second floor now. So we're directly above where we were eating yesterday. The mall is downstairs. That's where we had uh, lunch yesterday. And I just want to go to the top floor now, which is the 10th floor. Um, they've got an infinity pool up there and a really lovely garden. So we're going to have a look at that. But yeah, lovely breakfast. Okay, so look, we're now on the 10th floor on the roof of this place. And they've done such a brilliant job here because uh, they've got these lovely gardens and all that. You, you kind of think you're on the ground floor. You don't believe you're on top of a building. Um, Infinity Pool and all that stuff. That's behind me there. I'll give you a little whiz around in a minute. But yeah, it's really, really a lovely little kind of, nice little kind of sanctuary on the 10th floor. How's the jacuzzi? So nice. Nice? Yeah. Lovely. Oh. Yeah, beautiful trees, just a really lovely setting on the roof. They've done a great job here. There's a coffee shop up here, the gym's up here. I never go to the gym, obviously, do I? Um, but yeah, just check this out. Like I say, we're on the 10th floor here. And we see this kind of lovely garden. Infinity pool. That is not too shabby, is it? I think in one of my earlier videos, I mentioned how low rise uh, and beautiful Colombo is. You know, it's not really kind of full of high rise places, but just behind me, they're building this bloody massive thing. Can you see it there? Obviously you can, I think. It's, I counted it last night. It's like over 60 floors. Have a look at that. I remember staying in an apartment, like an Airbnb in Dubai. I was on like the 39th floor or the 45th floor. And I felt really uncomfortable. Like the whole way I felt uncomfortable. It just didn't feel nice. I, I, I don't think it's right that people live like that. I mean, some people like it, but yeah, can't we just live on the ground? Well, a few floors up, but there's 60 floors there. I mean, this is the 10th floor and we're in line with the top of the car park. That's when the apartment starts. So. A sign, a sign of things to come in um, in Colombo, I think, you know, because of this huge, huge building. But anyway, we're enjoying ourselves here. We've had a great time at this place. I really recommend this place, actually. It's kind of got everything you want. And by the way, they've got a beach. Five minutes down the road, they've got a beach on Marine Drive, their own little kind of private section, which there's a bus that goes every hour. Uh, you can go down there if you want to sit on the beach and do that, you know. But. Uh, recommend this place I mean I really 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 enjoyed it I think I think as a sort of overall hotel this might be the winner I think
but we're, we're yeah we'll talk about that in a bit but i think so anyway i'm getting bloody dizzy now Okay, so we're now at the Goldface Hotel, probably one of the most famous hotels in the world, I think. Um, certainly, I think it's the oldest hotel in Sri Lanka, uh, built in 1864. So here we are, and um, yeah, very fancy apparently. Well, let's check it out. Cheers, uh, welcome drink of blackcurrant. It's like Ribena. So this is my first time staying at the uh, great uh, Goreface Hotel. I'm not overly impressed so far. We got here. It took quite a while for us to check in. They gave us some Ribena as a welcome drink. And it's a little bit, I mean, it's kind of all old worldy, which is fine. The room's quite small, but it's a little bit tatty everywhere. It just seems like it needs to, I think it's glory days have gone. I don't want to bitch about places, to be honest. I don't really like bitching. It doesn't really help, does it? But this isn't my favorite hotel at all. Um, I've only been here about an hour. I'm going to have a little walk around and see some sort of bits and pieces in the hotel. But yeah, the room's a little bit, it's just a little bit, you know what I mean? It's a bit of, a lot of sort of chip paint everywhere and stuff like that. Am I whinging? I don't like whinging. I want to support Sri Lanka. Um, but I don't want you to uh, be disappointed. Um, we just stayed at the Merino down the road. Bloody brilliant that was. I mean, and cheaper. Brilliant and cheaper, much bigger room, much more modern. I think w what we have here is the kind of the heritage, isn't it? It's the old heritage, you know, built in 1864. Lots of famous people have stayed here and such and such like. But yeah, I'm not like super impressed. I've got to say. Honestly, things didn't get much better. Now look, if you're not into good food, good service, room size, great Wi-Fi and facilities, and you just want nostalgia, then this hotel is absolutely just for you. I'm not gonna moan anymore, I really could. Hi. Shit old pub, shit old pub uh, ashtray there, and uh, loads of sellotape on the menu. Looking good, shabby chic. Yeah, I think it's uh, shabby chic, isn't it? Yeah, there's a very thin line between uh, shabby chic and shabby shit, I would say. So just outside the Goreface Hotel is Goreface, which is a huge green. Uh, it's really packed at the weekends, Friday and Saturday night. Just loads and loads of people there. Milling around enjoying themselves. Uh, loads of lovely food stores and everything like that. So on the right hand side or the road side, some really big hotels like the Shangri-La, the Cinema and the Taj. Axum, yeah? how far is your kite? I don't know. Hang on, let's have a look. It's way up there, man. Way, way up there. There's the new ITC, which is a huge, huge building. Put your hand there. Push. No, it's like that. Take my picture, please. Take my picture. Nice. What's your name? Uh, my name is Simon. Nice to meet you. Okay. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> but it really is it's a wonderful kind of hang. It's something that you should do. Get down there, meet some local people. Everyone's really friendly. It's really beautiful. A lovely time and a great place to be. It's just unbelievable, people are losing their shit about buying things. Um, you may realise from a few videos, if you've watched them before, I bloody hate shopping malls. Like, I hate them. I hate airports and I hate shopping malls. But I hate shopping malls more. My kids like it. I mean, look at them, look. Look at them. 
fighting about clothes. Look at them, like, squeezing in. I don't get it, I don't get it. And also just across the road, I think it's attached to the Shangri-La Hotel, is a really, really big uh, shopping mall. Now, if you want a review of a shopping mall, don't ask me. So the best thing about uh, any shopping mall is leaving, and that's what we're doing now. I'm leaving a bloody shopping mall. Can't breathe, poncy people, no one knows where they're going. God, I'm an old git. Okay, so here we are in the evening, Saturday night, Friday night and Saturday night, it's Saturday night now, uh, on Gore Face on the green here. Hundreds and hundreds of people enjoying themselves out, having a good time, uh, flying kites. We had a bit of a kite experience, which is really good. Um, yeah, just up and down, just milling around, just beautiful, beautiful place to be. You know, just kids everywhere. You're just everyone enjoying themselves. Lots of little food stalls here, there and everywhere. Um, we went to the shopping mall. Jesus Christ, do I not like shopping malls. Uh, a disaster for me. Kids like it, I don't like it. But yeah, out here, you can, the breeze of the sea is coming in. It's quite windy. And yeah, just having a nice cool bottle of water before we head back to the hotel. So we're staying down there at the Gold Face, the very famous Gold Face Hotel, which is there. Just down at the end there. So it's like a kind of, I don't know, a mile or two mile long stretch of the screen and um, people just having a brilliant time. Um, I think it's like 10 or 11 o'clock at night now, music playing. Worth doing, worth doing, really friendly people. Okay, look, I'm gonna leave it here for today. So one not so nice hotel, one really beautiful hotel that I recommend. Some lovely bobbing around in the tuk-tuk. I hope that you've enjoyed the video today. Get yourself over to Sri Lanka. It is wonderful. Great food, great people, great landscape, great, 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 great stuff. Lots of love to you. Keep safe.